Wow. Oh my goodness. Get, get that on video. Come on, baby. Please start. Please start. Oh, it, it sounded like it didn't want to. As you guys know, the BMW has been giving me battery issues. Not a surprise. When you leave a vehicle and don't really touch it much, the battery's dead. That's how it goes, at least with an older battery or with an older car. You have, you know, some sort of voltage being sent out when it's not supposed to be. Hopefully she charges up. This will be my primary vehicle for now until I break it again. I'm going to put it through hell. I just hope it doesn't break again. I screwed up something on this car because now my speedometer doesn't work, which is kind of freaky because now I'm susceptible to cops pulling me over. And now my car is making weird noises. There we go, it went away. But I'm actually headed up to my girlfriend's cousin, Danny. You guys have seen him. He was the one who took his four-wheeler through the mud after we pulled him out the first time. I think he wanted to show off to you guys. Not a big deal. I understood it. Ian, on the other hand, it upset Ian. But anyways, we're going up there. He's got some questions on his four-wheeler. He wants some help from me. Ah, mush, BMW, mush. Unlike your speedometer, we're gonna rip, yeah. There's this weird shape in the sky. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything along those lines. This definitely looks like the Illuminati. Check that out. It's a triangle. Illuminati confirmed, as a lot of people would say. In the comment section, of course. I made it up to Danny's. I think he's happy to see me. Danny, are you happy to see me? You're damn right. <laughs> We're gonna work on this four-wheeler, hopefully. Uh, I don't know what kind of condition it's in. It sounds like it needs some work. What's up with the vehicle? Oh, that's a parts one. This is a parts one? <laughs> yep. Getting the transmission out of it. Clean Look at that, that's a way to work on it. <laughs> Screw the jacks, right? So is that for the blazer then? Yeah. You'll take that out and put it in your blazer? Yeah. We won't do this to the blue one. <laughs> so they also have a blue blazer. They're gonna take the transmission out of the silver one here, put it in the blue one, and Danny says that they're not gonna tip the blue one over. Why not? That's that's easier. We don't wanna <laughs> find damage it and pay more money for it. It looks like it's in pieces. Yeah. yeah. What the heck? What are you doing to it? Are you treating it like a machine or are you treating it like a slave? Oh. Yeah, it's, it's no good. It's getting late in the day. We gotta move this four-wheeler over to a well-lighted area in order to see it and put this thing back together. I think Danny's plan is to get this thing going so then he can trade it for a dirt bike. He wants to trade for an older dirt bike though. I guess it's his machine, he can do what he wants. But I think we're gonna use this tractor to haul it, to bump start it, right? Yeah. When I do stuff like this, I like to call the shots, but when it's not at my place, I can't really call the shots. So he's gotta do what he's gotta do. He's gotta move a lot of tractors in order to move this tractor. This should be the one we're going to use to bump start it. It's an automatic, it has no clutch, it's got no pull start, it's got no kick starter, it only has electric start. And it's an older machine, so that's really frustrating. It'd be a much better design if you just put electric start and a kick starter or a pull starter. You need that backup. Is this thing gonna be uh, powerful enough to drag this thing? Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, it will. I guess I'm driving. Danny and I made it to the gas station. The machine was like, didn't have any gas in it. We're pulling it around with a tractor. It had very little gas. I don't think it was enough to fire. So I said, man, we gotta get some gas. He's like, I don't have any money. So I ended up driving him down here and giving him three bucks so he can buy some gas. Danny must think I'm a charity. This isn't 3D Machines charity. Let's let's get the show on the road. I guess from 87, it ain't worth the 93. Yeah. <laughs> I think probably won't run if we buy 93. Always remember your favors. When somebody does does something for you, uh, you gotta do something for them back. I found you that grizzly for that, you. That's how it works. I found you that grizzly. He did hook me up with the grizzly, but he didn't pay for the grizzly. He didn't drive up for the grizzly. He didn't buy fuel for the grizzly. Okay, you got 1.29 gallons. That should be plenty. Yeah. Plenty. What is it, like a three gallon tank? Yeah. Okay, now don't spill that in my nice car. This is a BMW now, this is a classy machine. Real nice. Danny and I just got back from the gas station. 
he helped me stack those boards that I stacked by the fence the other day when I went to pick up this. And uh, this is the nail. This is the wood with nails pile. This is the wood without nails pile. Danny's gonna help me tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, he's gonna help me remove these nails out of this bo out of these boards so that we can then move them to a better location. Because my mom didn't even see the video, and she somehow saw that those boards were there. Mothers have that like that sixth scent or something. I just got my hair cut, looking fly. Fly oh my, it's sexy. a little bit scary. Oh, Danny's calling me sexy. <laughs> We ended up getting Danny's four-wheeler in Ian's garage. Uh, now we're just gonna start working on it. No offense, Danny, but this thing is an absolute heap. Disastrous. That's, that's not a shocker that I said that. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this, is, this thing is what? Well, it's old, but yeah, but you, nobody took care of it. What the heck, man? This is this is supposed to be the brake. That's like locked solid. That doesn't moving. These cables are just chilling here. Tires flat. We bump started it a lot. We ended up taking it probably a good three quarters of a mile. I'm gonna work on replacing these terminals for Danny. And we got his battery on charge. Two amp. That's where the magic happens. Danny, we're gonna take care of your battery. She's gonna charge well. Very well. I hope so. <laughs> Things aren't going according to plan, why not? I forgot what the <laughs> bolts went to in these. <laughs> Here's our new ring terminals. Danny, that's the last time you checked your air filter. Birds, holy shoot, dude, that's why I did. Wow. Oh shit, there's a whole shit load. <laughs> a whole shit ton of what? What, water, gas? That's gas. Your car is screwed. How did it even run then? Hey, it's a Yamaha. Oh my goodness. Get, get that on video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got it? Yeah. I've never seen anything like this at all. Can how you in the hell would that happen? Can you see how much gas is in there? That's half the air filter box, just gas. That's insane, and this thing ran. Your, your needle isn't seating right, so what happens is the gas just runs through it, and it just keeps leaking, 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 and instead of going into your, well, it's only got two places to go, in your air filter box and in your crankcase. And that's why when we open up the oil, his oil's a little high. Now Danny, smell this for me to tell me if it smells like gas. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, you're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have to drain that, drain the air filter box and then fix the carb. Cause that, that's the problem. I got a box full of goodies for you. Here's my box full of goodies. Danny's gonna drain the oil. We might as well have that going while we're working on the machine. Danny, I think this video is gonna be called like the worst four-wheeler ever or something along those lines. Is that appropriate? Very appropriate. <laughs> oh man, you're, you're getting fly now. So we're gonna drain out all the bad oil and just let that sit, do our work, try to find some other problems, fix them, put fresh oil in this thing, put fresh gas in this thing. We have we have gas left over, right? Hmm? We yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuckers tight! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 you're getting into my gloves! This is how much gas was in his air filter box. Okay, Danny, pour it in there. Look at all of that gas. Are you kidding me? That is insane, dude. I can't believe it even ran. I cannot believe it ran. This is Danny's carburetor. I'm going to clean the outside before I clean the inside. That way we're not having any cross contamination. We don't want to have something outside contaminate something inside after we have everything apart. Here's the carburetor now. It looks much cleaner than it did before. Now I can start tearing this thing apart and seeing what's causing this gas problem because this, this is terrible. 
This on the bottom here is the bypass. This prevents the crankcase from filling up with gas and mixing with your oil. And it also prevents gas from filling your air box up. Yeah, this hose is clogged. Probably when he went mud bogging. Remember that video? A couple videos back, Ian got all ticked off. I think it's called uh, something rescue mission. That's what it was. There's mud in there. Danny's gonna clean the jets. I showed him a little trick, so he's gonna do that. I'm going to refill the engine with engine oil. We got the carb installed. It's got engine oil now. Now we just have to check out the carburetor, make sure it's gonna work properly. It doesn't look like it's overflowing because we did clean this line out and that's the overflow line. If there was an issue, then it would be leaking and it is not leaking. That looks good to me. Now we're gonna work on hooking these new leads up. As far as I know, I think we're ready to start this thing up. At least test fire it. We have the carburetor hooked up. We have gas going to the carb. We had spark because it did run. I don't know how, but it did. The air box is no longer filled with gas. We got the terminals on. We're gonna bring our battery over. My goodness, man, we need to open some doors. <laughs> You're gonna finish the rest of it up on your own? Yeah. He's gonna finish putting the seat on, and what else you gotta put on that piece of plastic? I came with a box full of goodies, and now I'm leaving with four items. Danny, you cleaned me out, what the hell, man? This thing cleaned me right out. I'm sorry. <laughs> This thing owes me an apology. I'm really glad we got it running. I think it runs better than the day I got it. I wish you luck with your trade-up, if that's what you decide to do. Thank you for uh, tonight's entertainment. Well, thank you for <laughs> having me out. Yeah, no problem. It's now 11.20. I'm punching out. See you, Danny!